Don't edit yourself. Just let it go. Let it flow. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Since it's 2016, we thought we should get innovative. No TV commercials. I mean, come on. No one's gonna be watching TV in five years. So the idea is all user generated, viral, peer to peer. That's it. That's it. So we were thinking, how do hair care products connect to the concept of peace? And when we were reading the research, it seems like a lot of women really struggle with their hair. Struggle, war, dove, peace. That's when it came to us. Make peace with your hair. <gasps> that is amazing. Oh my god, you guys. Good morning, guys. Amy. Listen, have you heard their idea yet? No. Have you? Uh, we're actually waiting to unveil it at the meeting. An unveiling? Sounds very impressive. I can't wait. Hey, dude. Thanks for letting us work on this. Could be a real turning point for us, career-wise. You're welcome. Why don't you guys just into it? Yeah, it seems like the whole deal with women and their hair, it, it, it's kind of like a battle. They're never happy about it. They're always trying to fix it. And we think it's time that everyone Make peace with your hair. Oh. <laughs> now we think this idea is bigger than just advertising, so we're proposing a whole series of events that take place in all the major markets. Imagine, it's noon in Manhattan. You're walking through Midtown. I want to get some lunch. When suddenly, thousands of white doves are released into the air. The white dove, symbol of peace. You guys an item. What? No, oh, God. Why would you think that? Because you're blushing, which means you're embarrassed, which means you love her. It does not. It just means we were talking. What's the big deal? The big deal is that you have no business reason to talk to her, so that means you love Amy. <laughs> what are you, 12? Dom and Amy sitting in a tree? No. We're just going on a dove hair care brief. Come on, come on. All right, come on, guys. I want Mason and Connor to see what this conflict looks like from the outside, okay? I really don't feel like showing the conflict. No, no, it's all right. It's, uh, come on, Mason, Connor, it's a safe place, right? Go for it. What the hell? All right, you heard them, right? Okay, all right, so you guys are good. Okay, ready? Take it, go. <clears throat> hey, Mason. Hey, Connor. Hey, what do you say we make up and be friends? Sounds good, man. Let's do it. Okay, hey, 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 okay, okay. That was good, that was good. Um, Listen, uh... I need you to really, really delve in deep here, okay? I mean, they, they need your help. This is for them, all right? You guys can do this. Okay, go, go. Sometimes you, uh, you take control and you make decisions without seeming to care how I might feel. Well, you know, what am I supposed to do? I'm sorry I got promoted. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not, because I earned it. Okay, by playing it safe and, you know, only settling for what the client wants instead of pushing a little bit. Yeah, but clients pay the bills. It's called being responsible. That's why I'm the boss. You know, I I'm getting a little sick and tired of you being all jealous. Maybe I am jealous, but uh, what am I going to do about it? One minute you're my partner, the next minute you're son of a bitch telling me what to do. Well, what do you want from me? Do you want me to just quit my job as creative director just for you? No, maybe we shouldn't be partners anymore. I didn't mean that. He wouldn't say no, that. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Guys, what do you think of this? I think maybe he's right.